Hey everybody, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. Today's Tea Time is dedicated to Diddy, Sean Combs, okay? Puffy, brother love, whichever name you want to call him by. Well, listen, we all know that he's currently locked up awaiting trial. And although he is fighting tooth and nail to get out on bail, everyone is saying they highly doubt it's going to happen. And one of the main regions, of course, the feds, um, the other side, they have to come up with reasons why not to give any person bail. And part of the reasons is they say that he was witness tampering. He's a dangerous man and he will be a danger to society. In addition to that, they added that he has a lot of money and he is a flight risk. And you know what, according to all the rumors that we heard, all of the above, not even just A, B, C, R, D, all of the above are true. Now, here's the addition that I want to add to this conversation. I think in addition, the feds want to prove to all of the people that they're asking to be a witness and testify against Diddy, you have no worries. He won't be able to harm you because we're going to keep him locked up into his trial. So with that being said, it seems as if it just appears because the way people are moving that there are many others that the feds are adding to their witness list. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, um, Usher's um, Twitter account, well, now it's known as X, formerly Twitter, he wiped away 7K tweets, okay? It's just some um, unusual behavior by some of his associates going on that make the people want to go, Mm. But I want to say this, by Diddy's own words, his own words and his own tapes that he made, for whatever reason, he loved to see himself on camera or he loved to make videos. And those videos that he made himself, and maybe not physically himself, all of them, but you get what I'm saying, he authorized them. That's going to be that thing that sinks him. So they dug up an interview that he did with Conan O'Brien. I want to say it was from 2002. And he pretty much, you know, gave the blueprint to having a good party. And that interview, along with some other clips that they have of Diddy, you know, throughout the years, I think those are going to help sink his ship. So he has a huge hand. He could forget about calling this one, please lie for me, please this, please whatever. He has a huge hand, okay, in sinking himself. So let's go into what he said in this interview. And ironically, it is all the things that people claim happened at these FOs because part of the charges is they're saying that he forced labor, that he, I think kidnapping is a part of one of them, right? Um, and, you know, if you locking me in the doors, you pretty much essentially kidnapping me if I can't leave said party, right? So Diddy jokes about keeping women at parties with locks on doors in a resurfaced Conan O'Brien interview. I can't play the interview, of course, because um, I would get a, a copyright thing, but we can um, use the words here that he said. So Sean Diddy Combs joked about the ingredients for a killer party and a resurfaced interview with the late night host, Colin O'Brien. And it now seems to have a much darker undertones amid his recent arrest. This is what you need to do, Diddy 54 said during his 2002 late night with Colin O'Brien appearance. Woman, you need beautiful woman. Beautiful men for the ladies. You have to give the ladies what they need. You know, you have to take care of your woman. Can't force the situation. That's probably the only uh, uh, few words that he said in this interview that don't seem so sinister, right? You can't force them. The Bad Boy Records founder continued, alcohol. We need alcohol. You need some water. I don't know if guys notice this, but a lot of ladies drink water at parties. So if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Got to keep them there. You need locks on the doors. Cohen 61 replied, this is sounding kind of dangerous now. Did he respond by saying that the locks were a little kinky? Before adding that he um, liked to turn up the heat at his parties because it affects the alcohol and it led to everyone getting a little more loose. Now, I had no clue, but I'm not a drinker, right? And listen, I don't have nothing against people that drink. Drink responsibly and don't drive and drink. Um, so being that I'm not a drinker, I didn't know that turning up the heat 
um, you know, affects the alcohol that you already drunk and, and, and you just get a little more loose. OK, so I don't know how this man knew these things, but he seemed to know, know exactly what he needed to do to make people relax. OK, so when Cohen asked if any celebrity had ever um, crashed one of his um, one of the it's all about the Benjamin's rappers parties, he admitted that it had happened. Did he recall one of his birthday parties in New York City with guests such as Magic Johnson, Muhammad Ali and Martha Stewart? The music mogul confessed to not realizing Henry Linker was in town. Just imagine, um, you know, Diddy was from hip hop world, R&B. Imagine him just kind of knowing and mingling um, back in 2002 with just entertainers from just across all spectrums. It is incredibly sad that this man, you know, was so sinister based upon all the things that everyone, you know, is alleging about him now because he really had the opportunity to change the world and become something great in the sense of, you know, how he just cross mingled with the different people in entertainment. Um, it's just sad what he turned out to be, um, which is why he hadn't been invited. But the happy days alone crushed the part, crashed the party anyways. Henley Winkler jumped over the barricade, pushed past two security guards, went underneath another barricade, and ran into the party and hid in the bathroom, did he explain. So although all of these celebs now are, are distancing themselves, and I get it, I would too, right? Um, trying to act like they had no clue about anything um, this man was doing or his temper, his, you know, all of that stuff. It's clear that at a, one given, one point in time, Everybody who was anybody wanted an invitation to his party. So you see Jay-Z and Beyonce, that's Kim Kardashian. Some of these other people I don't recognize, but I'm almost wearing that's Kanye West right there. And then that's Diddy in this particular picture. Okay. I'm not sure. This face is looking familiar, but I'm not kind of I'm not quite sure who that particular person is. Diddy was arrested, and we all know that on September 16, charged with racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking by um, force, fraud, cohesion, according to the unsealed indictment obtained by In Touch Weekly. We know that he's still currently locked up. We also know that they do not want to let this man out, um, you know, on bail while he's awaiting trial. And the other thing is, Trial experts are saying that because of all the evidence and all of the information they have to pull together and all of the stuff that his lawyer physically has to look at, you know, whatever the prosecution has against Diddy, how his lawyer has to go through all this stuff, discovery, so to speak, um, that this trial cannot happen until the end of 2025 or maybe 2026. And all I can say is yikes. One of two things can happen with Diddy in this time. He can either get used to life behind bars while he's awaiting trial, or maybe he's going to break. I don't know. Um, I will add this to it. And I, I said this in many, on many occasions, he's highly addicted to substances. So it's, it, <coughs> excuse me, what's going to be interesting is can they, put you through some type of rehab and detox program while you are, are, are behind bars. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, excuse me, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on did he kind of tell on himself uh, over 22 years ago, because this was a 2002 interview on his recipe for a good party, okay? Lock doors, turn the heat up, alcohol, anywho, people. Chat with me. I'll chat back. I'll see y'all in the next video.